the guy who beat me at Jackie Knight's Laugh for Less comedy contest on Friday night. Woo! That guy. So that means I'm going to be about that much less funny than Forrest just was. We do what we can. So I'm Chip and I'm an alcoholic. Hi Chip. Hi, there we go, far out, right on. Don't tell anybody we're over here drinking and having a good time. They may come over here and run it for us. Uh, so, uh, yeah. I'll tell you a little bit about me. Um, how I got to be the creepy uncle. I am a motorcycle enthusiast. I ride Harleys, and they're known for being 800 pound vibrators. Uh, I always wanted the Harley because uh, when I was a young guy riding a little Japanese bike, I always saw guys that were my age that had like underage big tit blondes on the back of their bikes. And I wanted to be one of those guys when I grew up. Um, so I'll tell you how I became one of those guys. So, you know, it was this thing. I have a uh, niece and a nephew, and every time I come home, I put them on, you know, hey, you guys want to go for a motorcycle ride? Okay, they get on the back of the bike. Well, I came back to Washington, and uh, Washington State, and uh, my niece is like, I want to go for a motorcycle ride. I haven't seen her in a while. By the time I show up there, she's 14, and she's sprouted. So I put her on the back of the bike, not thinking anything of it. We're going down the road. I say, you want to go fast? She goes, yeah. So we're doing like 100 miles an hour. We get to the other side of wherever we're going. She gets off the bike, shaky knee, pie-eyed. <sighs> Gave my niece her first orgasm. And I looked at that and I went, fuck. That's the creepiest shit ever. I did not want to be that guy. You know? Uh, you know, hey, that's self-disclosure for me. And hey, I do treat it kind of like an a and So, to the jokes. <laughs> and the broken chair. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I'm a truck driver. And uh, I've got this uh, thing. The thing that gets on my nerves more than anything else in the world. My pet peeve. Is bumper stickers. I hate, hate, hate bumper stickers because the first one you put on your car told me what kind of asshole you are. You don't need to repeat yourself 19 times all over the back of your fucking car. I knew you were a douchebag. You know, it's just it's redundancy. It's unnecessary. So what I think I'm going to do, my way of getting my own certain our anarchic revenge, is I'm going to go down to uh, Kinko's and I'm going to have them print me up 100. NAMBLA bumper stickers. For those of you who do not know, NAMBLA is the North American Man Boy Love Association. <laughs> I'm going to take these bumper stickers to art shows and uh, gun shows. And I'm going to find a car with the most bumper stickers and just going to add that one there. And these people at some point in time will realize they have a NAMBLA bumper sticker on the back of their car and they're going to wonder, how long was I driving around with a NAMBLA bumper sticker on the back of my car? I wonder what the people think. Well, they think what I think. You're an asshole. You know, um, you know, so pole dancing is going to be uh, an Olympic sport. They voted out last time. Maybe we'll get it next time. You know, and that's awesome, you know, because not, you know, for me, I want to be able to put that pole dancer uh, silhouette in the back window of my pickup and destiny over the top, just like the soccer moms with the soccer ball, Christy, whatever. That way I'd be proud of my own child's athletic endeavors, you know? <laughs> You want to see my daughter working uh, on her routine for the Olympics. She's down at the end of 103rd Avenue at uh, Blue Angels Gentlemen's Club. Usually working on Tuesday nights. Put a dollar in her G-string and tell her dad says hi. Yeah, see, I heard that. Come on, it's not that creepy, really. She's my stepdaughter. <laughs> yeah, so this is me and this is my act. You know, um, I saw this uh, sign while I was driving down the road, driving the truck. I see this sign that says uh, Dick Swings. You know, and I started thinking about that because I'm a comedian. I have this brain issue where my mind just wanders aimlessly. And I see this sign and I'm thinking to myself, Dick Swings, Dick Swings. Shit, my dick doesn't have wings. Is my dick supposed to have wings? Does everybody else's dick have wings? Mine doesn't? Oh, man, that's fucked up. How am I going to get wings for my dick? Man, I give it a red bowl. <laughs> Saw the sign that said uh, carpets and drapes, and that led me immediately to the to the carpets match the drapes. And I was like, wow, that's a weird analogy. 
I've been in houses, a lot of houses in the 47 years I've been on this planet. I've never been in a house that the carpets actually did match the drapes. So why is that the analogy? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I like bare floors anyway. <laughs> yeah, so anyways, uh, you know, I had this uh, situation. Um, you know, you know, I asked you, sir. Okay, here we go. What's your name? Donnie. Donnie, okay. So Donnie, you're uh, with your woman. You're making love. You have a great time. You know. It's a wonderful moment. She gets up, she's ill. She runs to the bathroom. She hovers over the toilet. You should hold her. There you go. Right. That's where I fucked up. You see, because I held her hips. You know, and then you can't blame me because the whole deal of holding your hair thing. The last time I held the chick's hair in that situation, it came off in my hands. I did not know I was banging a bald chick. But hey. Carpet Smash and Drapes. I'm Chip Thompson. That's my time. Thank you very much. Spencer Room is O. Is he here? Yeah, he's prepared. There he is. Spencer Room is O. See, I learned his name. Chip Thompson, everybody. Yeah. How's Rain Dogs doing tonight? How's Rain Dogs doing tonight? Woo! All right. <laughs> so, today I was, uh, I was taking pictures of my butthole, and, uh, taking pictures of my butthole, and, uh, there you go. There you go. It's back there on that table. No. I was, I was taking pictures of my butthole. And, uh... <laughs> oh, great job. Um, looks like you've gotten us into a little bit of a predicament. Uh, you forgot your notes. But don't worry, we've done this hundreds of times. We can get through this. We can remember this. Just to, just take a breath. Just relax. Breathe in. And out. Perfect. All right, now let's think. Come on, we can think of this. All right, I took pictures of my butt all today. And now, alright, let's, uh, come on, let's plug in some punchlines, let's run, let's run through some of these, we can find this, don't worry, everybody's staring at you, don't worry, we'll remember this, it hasn't been that long, alright, um, I took pictures of my butthole, and they smell like mesquite, no, that doesn't, no, that doesn't fit, um, let's see, um, I took pictures of my butthole, because them bitches is baroque as fuck, oh shit, <laughs> All right, let's scratch that joke. Um, all right, let's think of an older joke. Think of a different joke. You can tell some. Come on, you, can, you got this. You can remember one. Um, how about uh, uh, my my bank account is very unhealthy. It has financial aids. No, no, that's not good. That's not good. Um, you should never order steaks from BlackPeopleMeat.com. No, that's not. That's not a full joke. Um, uh, why Why did the chicken cross the basketball court? Because he heard that the referee was blowing fouls. Oh, that's that's. that's Childish, that's garbage. Um, all right, come on, let's get back to this. Original joke. I took pictures of my butthole today, and, um, and, uh, uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. I, ooh, I really wish I would have turned out better when I ate those mushrooms. I'm gonna go. I really thought I'd be upstage by now. Uh, don't panic, don't panic, don't panic. Yeah, it's like natural, like natural. Contain, contain emotion. All right, act natural. 
All right, we got this. We got this. All right, we got this. Okay, just, just act, act natural again. Okay. I was just, I don't think anybody noticed. Yeah, I think we're good. Nobody noticed that. All right, uh, now, the, uh, the, the joke, the joke, joke, oh, I can't say it's, it's all a joke. Um, oh, shit. Yeah, now I remember it. I was taking pictures of my butthole today, and the camera gave me Polaroids. All right, thank you guys very much. My name is Spencer. <laughs>